Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Hope I said Inquisition in the last video, not Origins. Tee hee. That's what I'm used to. I actually realized I was feeling like not like totally like involved in the last little section for a second, th for a little bit there. That's because I had to sit so far back I could like see too much of my like wall. Like I was just like, man, I need to... Did you just hurt yourself? I realize, like, I actually, I feel like I can see more and I'm involved more in what's going on if I'm sitting just even a tiny bit closer, you know? Let's see if I can figure out a way to get out of here. Look at that tree. Go away, house! Josephine's ready to report in. There's a house over there. What's that house about? Pretty rug. What's this house about? That candle's flickering. I've never noticed. Well, that's pretty sweet. Whoever lived here was like a heavy note taker researcher. Oh, look. Was that like food or experiment? Looks like food. There's a pie up there. That's adorable. What is this place? I would know! But I cannot. Ah! I'm like not paying attention to where I'm- my character is and I'm just like looking- Oh! This is... Road to Crestwood? Oh it is! Oh, okay, whoa. I got turned around there. Let's see, is that- Where's the, like, the elvish girl? I don't know, did we get her? Eventually... Where was she? Was she down here? Um... Like, where did she live? She wasn't this close. I must have gotten her. Looks like somebody was interrupted mid-water fetching. Oh, I think this is her house down here. Right? Or did I already go in here? Oh! No, this was her, I think. I think I must have gotten her. I think I had to get... See, that's the thing, as I... Again, like, I don't... I play... It takes me ages to play this game, and then when I do, I'm like, hey, what, what, what do we do? I have no recollection whatsoever of anything we've done. And I do... There's like an elven temple in Crestwood that I actually really want to explore, so... I gotta get that. That's gotta be on the list. At some point. Under protection of the Inquisition. Hello. I look very intimidating in my white little cape here. I guess I could have fast traveled. I did not fast travel. He's up here, right? I do love this decor. I need to look up where to get the decor and stuff. Everyone's out! Everyone's like alive! It's so good. It's good to be about again. What do you mean the mayor's gone? He rode out an hour ago. We spotted him from Byers Field. Didn't even stop the wave. Maybe he's getting help. What for? The dead are gone. Mayor Dedrick's lived here 50 years. He wouldn't abandon us. He's been acting strange ever since the Inquisitor drained the lake. He knew we'd find out. Letter of Confession. Inquisitor, it was not Darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago. I did in secret the night they attacked. The undead you have been fighting are people I kill with my own hands. We'd taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower part of Crestwood and the refugees into the cave to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I, I knew the only way the village would, be, would survive is if the Blight sick drowned with the monsters. 
I cannot bear the sight of Old Crestwood now that the water is gone. I cannot stay. I'm sorry. The letter of confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago. To stop the blight from spreading. It's monstrous. But if it stopped the blight from wiping out the entire I know, village... right? That sorry bastard. He left before he could get caught. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's monstrous. It is, but... He saved the rest of the village from dying. You know? It's a horrible decision to have to make. But it was one he made. You know? So... Oh, we forgot to stop. Gotta stop by Sister Vaughn. She's just up this hill behind me, right? Not over there. She's over here, I hope. Oh, look at that! There's like runes up there. Like runes, not ruins, but I mean, there are ruins, but there's like, um, like the standing stones, you know, from like uh, Celtic, Norse. See, the level of detail on things is, like, it's amazing. Oh, and the, 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 the house, the roofs bloomed. They, they all of a sudden bloomed in the sunlight, but... Like, it's stuff like this that, like, you, you just run past and don't really think about, but if, it, if this kind of stuff wasn't around, like, the world would feel emptier. It's just stuff you don't even notice, really, but it just makes the game that much more enjoyable just for knowing it's around. Did I change the, uh, Inquisition banners or something? Rest at the maker's right hand and be forgiven. Oh, I remember we, yeah, that's a... Did we... Did we place that there? What is this? Oh, it's a logging stand?! What?! Your worship. I've already found the remains of the people I'm who I'm surprised she calls me that. I said, I trust I so, she thinks I'm the herald, Thank then? You for your thoughtfulness. Like, for sure? It is all too rare these days. I will prepare the bodies for cremation. Woo! I need to go unlock some more zones. Um, nope, okay. Um... Crestwood. Oh right, we gotta go talk to the to the little beastie, little uh demon. Nope, wraith. That's the word. Where's camp? Is camp? Yeah. If I travel there, I suppose I could have walked. Really. I'm still kind of distracted. I keep feeling like someone's gonna like people are gonna like walk into my room all of a sudden, even though they don't really have calls to. And I have signs up, and no, I really should pro people are probably like banging their heads, but it's really kind of a waste of my own personal resources. I noticed this before. Old Crestwood. Those are, okay, I saw a couple of those like statues that kind of look like that. I'm not sure if they're dogs or cats. What is going- somebody- what is wrong with one of you? I mean, everything is so different in the daytime, like it was so hard to see everything earlier. Did I get that up there? That chest? I think I- oh, I didn't. What's in here? Eh. I'm full up anyway. Okay. Where are you at, Commander? I have done as you bid. Yes. I keep the arranging demon them for in the you. Caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. It's good that you can You're go back. Right. Use it well. Oh, cool! Amulet of power for myself. Proven its nature. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> it couldn't. It's almost by, it's like, I choose not to leave, but it's also like compelled by its nature. Solus, holy crap! I forgot that you approved on that one. I'm glad I brought you. Jeez. 
We didn't get that little dealy wop over there, but we got I the other one. I understand the lake has been a source of local myths for centuries. What? <laughs> you just said that? That's awesome! That's so cool that you just said that. Like, just out of the blue. Eh. Oh, I remember actually now. We can't just, uh... Oh, okay. So there was like an island out there. Okay. And there's the dam. We can't just go judge the guy. We have to go back to... Skyhold. And do the... Mission that brings him to us. We have to go like send a war table mission out to go fetch him. Go and fetch him. I need to send uh, Reese and Evangeline out. I'm tempted to do the Leliana thing, but I'm also, I'd almost rather do Cullen just because they, you know, they are tough opponents and they could help bolster defenses. That's what I did last time though. So, I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm running low on uh, hard drive. My, my, my terabyte hard drive is running low on space. I gotta keep an eye on it. Are you some? Oh, you're one of the, yeah. Whoa! These are the Dalish standards. Have I not noticed them before? Gee, what? Hey, like, they're gorgeous. Did I? I mean, I know I had the Dalish standards. Four. These are Dalish, right? They're not Orlesian. They might be Orlesian. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, we're still... Skyhold's still in uh, pretty decent construction right now. We're still fairly early in the development of Skyhold. Let's go. Let's go. What did Zer Blackwall say? He says so long as we only threaten the Warden's right of conscription without invoking it. Please, thank him for me. It is useful to slip into negotiations now and then. Wow, okay. Yeah, but we get in trouble for that later. just I really am I'm just I'm like totally like wrapped up in this game right now don't want my eyes are super dry though sorry I don't know why I've been putting eye drops in them all day uh let's pick up what did you have oh we have enough for the uh the ball I don't want to do that yet the caravan I got another amulet of power Probably for Sarah. Was abandoned after our offer to buy it. There's no documentation to show who arranged it. It appears our scrutiny was enough to scare them off. Okay. Now we gotta go get the mayor. Left a letter confessing it was him. Or all Cullens is like the shortest, but I can ask the Crown to post a warrant for the mayor's arrest. I'll have my agents inquire. We already have soldiers. Get let us begin. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I feel like, was there... Something? I feel like I'm, like, forgetting. Oh, I need to go talk to Sutherland. I bet. Let's see. I know last time I had him trained up as, like, a little spy band. But I think this time I will have him work for Cullen. I think that's what I did. Yeah. I had him outfitted up as like a rogue type, I think. Scouting troop. Sarah slightly approves. I have like two objects overburdened. Also, I need to do that. I need to work on that. <laughs> I really love the freaking Grey Warden. 
tapestries. They look so good. Um... What was I doing? Shoot. Um... Dang it. Sorry if you hear banging in the background. There's some remodeling being done. Seriously, what was I doing? I wasn't- I, do, I was gonna do the inventory next, but first I wanted to do something? What did I want to do? I don't know, but I guess I, I will actually go open up. Was I gonna talk to somebody? I can't remember. Yeah, I'll just run around and check and see how everyone's doing, but I am gonna go open up an area really quick. Jeez. I cannot. I feel like it was really important. What was I talking about? You guys are like, it's right there. And I'm like, what? I was talking about my eyes being dry. Oh, talking about Crestwood, Mayor. Yeah, I don't know. Let's open up. Trouble with the Fallow Mire. That's a pretty Crestwood low level had area. Had no further trouble with the undead. Yay! After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Indeed. I also do. I do want to start uh, the hissing waste. I think that's the hissing waste. Sure. I still haven't opened up that. <laughs> Alliances observing the dead mark. Okay, first let's. I think I'll. I, yeah, I'll have enough, but. Yes, let's open up. Uh. Our so the soldiers are volunteering to search for lost comrades. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a good one. They've been found in a bog called the Follow Mire. They're being held hostage by Avar, who demand to meet the Herald of Andraste if the English want to see its people alive again. Not right now, but thank you. And then we're going to open up over here. Stop inventory activity in the west. Leave on our spies to discover orders from Venatoria's high-ranking commanders. A large number of mages are traveling westward to excavate something of great value. What are mages doing excavating? I guess they could, like, magic the earth. The region is vast, but Liliana is ready to put her network to use in tracking him down. The Venatoria stands for their best scholar. Right, right, right. I do... I, I don't think I ever finished the main quest in this area. I, I think the only place I finished the main quest really was Crestwood. They are camped in a place with hissing waste. So they're working their slaves to death, digging out old buildings from the sand. And the Inquisition should step in quickly, because if it doesn't, I'm going to bash the Venatoria's heads in, and you'll need a new scout. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, I kind of want to. I want to get that one started too. So I love. Oh, I just love, love exploring. I love exploring, you guys. It is so fun. But right now we're gonna wait for Crestwood's mayor. So to do that, while we wait, we're gonna run around and talk with people. I hope I got some influence because I want to see where I'm at. I think I'm still pretty low. Um, am I, like, super quiet? I don't- I can't tell. As far as I can- I've, like, changed none of the settings, so I don't know why it would- they would be, you know, excessively different. But I did put the microphone back on the desk because it was- it was being really weird otherwise. Like, I- I didn't like it. I wasn't comfortable. So, I apologize. All right, all right, Josephine. I... Whoa, I didn't realize we were... And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Wow. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. Seems that dramatic. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. I really hate my pajamas. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Parsithia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. 
Her threat makes no sense. <laughs> should I post more guards outside your room? That should be unnecessary, Inquisitor. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Porcythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. I'm like, oh, like, I just came from the field. <laughs> Most of them. I've seen things. But I confess, I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antioch. Oh, yeah. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Oh, my gosh. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. <laughs> uh, I really right wish I was wearing something door. else. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. <laughs> and then that's lurking. Lurking. Titans are guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? <laughs> and there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Who are you gonna talk about, hmm? Uh... Two and a half hours, I think, but no <laughs> counting. <laughs> oh, dear. What? I didn't intend to go on for so Wow, long. two and a half. You must think me quite the gossip. No, no, I... There, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one else here has your experience, Josephine. Or your stories. Yeah. I'll try to curtail their length next time. No, no. This but is super fun. I'll be feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. Good. It, I, I need to get her, like, I wish you could, like, get her more staff, you know. But at the same time, it's nice to just chat with, like, somebody that you kind of consider a friend. So. So we were at my balcony. All right, then. I wasn't sure. Uh, I have looked up, I, I look up periodically to see if there's a way to get, um, an Xbox 360 save transferred to a PC, actually, like, because if I can send it to, like, the Dragon Age Keep or whatever, like we did for Trespasser, right, when you had to transfer your save to the Xbox One, you can only transfer from Xbox to Xbox or PlayStation to PlayStation. But I've looked for a way, and they still on the facts page for the, for how to do the, of the the import thing they're like at this time we do not have anything for pc and i'm just like Gah. i'm like it could have really is it really that much more difficult to allow me to put my information from the xbox in the cloud or the keep or whatever and then just transfer it to a pc like is it really so difficult all right so josephine was a little bit starved for attention it seems so we'll go we'll go talk to her a little bit more I think I, when I was editing, I realized we didn't really talk a whole lot Inquisitor, to her. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Uh... I don't want to be mean. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. Only when I laugh. <laughs> Very good, Inquisitor. <laughs> A situation requires your attention. Oh boy, okay. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. Uh, still? They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Okay. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the grand clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the conclave. Yeah. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't <laughs> kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. I've heard of Jader. 
Uh, I think I did propaganda last time. Um, should we try diplomat? Or did, let's let's try some diplomats. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. Okay. Yes. Uh, me anything? What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. Yes, they, they will be, rem be gently reminded of this. Uh. Any thoughts on the? Who did you mean? Oh, um. Oh, okay. You must have an opinion of Dorian. Who hasn't? The man could cause a scene standing quietly in the center of an empty Yes, he could. Still, I do believe he has your best interest at heart. For all that he delights in mocking them from time oh, to time. Oh, wee wee hee hee What do you think of Vivienne? We've met a few times before at court. She remains a truly accomplished player of the game. So long as her interests align with yours, Madame Vivienne will be a most valuable ally. Just do keep her on your good side, Inquisitor. I will, I will. I'm trying much harder this time around. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. I'm so glad that he, like, tells stories, you know? Like, that's, that's really good. Cole, actually. Oh, wait, you mean the quiet young man? <sighs> How strange. I'm sure we must have talked, yet I can't recall what we discussed. Mm. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. <laughs> oh, my friends would be sick with envy. I, I want to bring him it's out more, too. But a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Only three. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief's discovered must come in handy, however. I'm sure. Nah. Uh, Blackwall. What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. Me too. Meh. The Iron Bull has had to have made an impression. He is a loud, unapologetic actor. <laughs> to happen. I do wish he'd stop daring poor dignitaries to outdrink him. Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. Punch everything! It solves all your problems. Cassandra, too. Cassandra. Seeker Pentecast is She's a like a freaking of chainsaw. Of Nevada, although that barely seems important to her. She She's not, like, super princessy. If we might make use of her royal relations. She's like 78th in line! The Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. She is indeed. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Yeah. All right. Let's catch up on your other things. Questions. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Tell me about the Montilliers. After a certain age, the she's the oldest. She's the responsible. Estate to prove they're worthy of succession. I think that's a good if idea. If you're unfit for the task, the heads of the house, usually one's parents, may decree a new heir. I think it's a really, like, really freaking good idea. It's like, um. I mean, it gives the heir a chance to do something and not just be thrown into things at, like, the death of a parent, you know, which is a horrible time. Um, if the heir or parent doesn't want it, they won't do a very good job, and then they can, you know, move on to other things. It's like, you know? What do these Antivan heads of the household do if they don't run it? Advise it. They work and provide guidance. I've taken advice from my parents. Well, mostly mother. Father is more of an artist. It's rather gauche, but we never can dissuade him from running his own salon. It's rather gauche. Between him and my siblings, mother is looking forward to my taking over the estate. <clears throat> yeah. Between that and the Inquisition, when do you ever rest? Delegation helps a great deal. As long as but you do that. Managing the estate is my duty. 
As much work as it is, I will not shirk it. It's cool that she can do it from here. I think you're too finicky to give those responsibilities to the rest of your family. You don't know them. <laughs> Lorien in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No, truly. It must be me. She is very responsible. Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antiva City. But when I turned 15, Mother declared I'd attend finishing school in Balroyo. Oh, but I bowled into her skirts the day I had to leave. That's too funny. Uh... You must have missed her terribly. I did. And she was most unsympathetic. I can I can see it. But my mother only wanted the best for me. Living in Orlais was an education in itself. What did you learn at this finishing school in Val Royale? I'm like, what is a finishing well, school? I am a Dalish elf. Mathematic. Have you ever stepped into a new city and felt the buildings? Yes, Val Royale. It does looks like a dollhouse. That was Val Royale to me. So beautifully foreign. Hey, you're I ready to report in, Josephine. Months. Does Antiva City have nothing that compares to Val Royale? Antiva City Aha. is a jewel among the capitals. Ah, indeed, indeed. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. That's how it is sometimes. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Seheran, the Anderfelds, whatever lies past the Amaranthine Ocean. I can't Ocean. believe people don't know. Do they really not know what's past the Amaranthine Ocean? Uh, let's, act, let's go do the thing. Let's speak later. Yes. Goodbye. We will speak later. I'm gonna go pick up what you just did. And then we're hopefully gonna get the Cerberus thing. And then we I actually I'm gonna, I will put that on Skyhold. And I will go pick up the I'm so glad it's not a long one. We'll pick up the mayor. And then we will hopefully get Sir Barris' thing and then get the mayor right after that. This one may be a bit long. Uh, over here, yes. Okay. I hear the mayor of Crespo's been found. When he comes in, stick him in the holding cells, let him stew there until the Inquisitor brings him out for judgment. I got some gold. Actually, uh, is there something else we could send Josephine out on? There's lots of stuff over here. That's still going. Truth or dare? Hmm. The region between Lakes Lessine is known as the Heartlands, a place of vineyards. I have to say that Olay's heart is plated with gold. Comte de Moria and Marquis Coltmonts, both spending money like water, which to pursue? Hmm. Uh, let's send Josephine out on this one. Inquisitor. It seems like a diplomatic -y type thing anyway. I think last time I chose Leliana, maybe Cullen, I don't remember. But I did not choose Josephine, so. I've been neglecting Josephine as of late, slightly. Uh, I think I actually will call it here, and we'll start the next one with judging the mayor and hopefully promoting Ferris. Um, yeah, hopefully, I don't know if we talked to Josephine. We did stuff. I can't remember exactly what we did, but we did stuff. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this one. I'll see you in the next one.